Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today's video I've got something super exciting prepared and planned and I just honestly think that it's gonna be so much fun. Also I'm feeling very like red today. <laughs> got red nails, red top, I've even got red trousers. Today's video is gonna be me attempting to recreate a pop art image on this canvas here so it's a 16 by 16 inch canvas so basically i'm going to find a pop art image that i want to try and recreate i've already had a little bit of a look and i've found a few so i'll show you which one i end up deciding on or i'll put it on screen now um and then that's what i'm going to try and recreate but i'm also going to make it more of a challenge for myself so i'm going to lay out about nine to ten acrylic paints and I'm gonna blindly, like at random, pick numbers out of a bowl that will correlate to each paint. And I'm only gonna use three, and I can't mix them. I can mix them with white and black, but I can't mix them with each other. So I think this is gonna be really, really cool and really fun, and hopefully I get some good colors that will work quite well. first number that I've got is number one okay that's all right that's a nice pink type of shade I kind of want like brighter colors so I'm hoping that I get some good ones this is number eight okay it's like a yellow ochre tone so that's not too bad and the third and final number is going to be number oh my god this is so hard to do one handed number five okay so I've got a pink a magenta and a yellow ochre so these are the numbers that I picked out so it was one five and eight so one is this rose color five is this one so it's magenta and then eight is this one here which is the yellow ochre so yeah quite a nice little mix i think got like a basically a red and yellow kind of situation going on um but then it's going to be quite hard mixing variations without like a blue or a green ideally i would have liked one of each kind a variation of each kind of color that's why I put a few of each out, but I'm happy enough with these, and I think we can make it work. So now that I've got my colours all picked out, my three of them right here, I'm going to get drawing out my image. So I've now finished the drawing out stage. It got a bit messy and it took a long time. I couldn't get too many clips of it for you because I had to do like meticulous details with a ruler and I film these videos myself. So this is where it's at, what it looks like. Again, it's a bit confusing and messy, especially the fist. Um, but hopefully by the time that I've coloured it and everything, it will look okay. So my next stage that I'm going to do is the like basic flat colours.
as you will have seen in that clip, um, I've just done the first like base layer of all the colours. I'm quite happy with that actually. So I think the dark purples, I might just do the actual colour that it is over the top of it. I did it with white originally because well, most of them I've done with white because that's going to help make it a thicker layer quicker anyway. Um, but yeah, I think if I do it as the deep, deep purple, then it will stand out even better. Um, the light pink I'll still do with white and then um, I'm glad that I've made two different shades of the yellow ochre like a really pale and a really dark one with white one with black because I think that's really helped it to pop and stand out and make a bit more sense as an image <laughs> I did like a second coat of each colour so it's looking a lot better now. My next stages today are going to be going in with the white just to get the white areas actually white again and sort of like carve them out and then I've just got to do the patterns on the sections and then the black straight outlines. But I'm also going to allow myself to use black and white um, paint pens.
Hi, apologies for my appearance, but it's probably about a week later now. Um, this took a very long time to get quite precise, and I also didn't do any for a few days because it was like a family member's birthday, and it was just like getting everything ready for that. I just didn't have a lot of time, but I finally finished, and oh my god, I am actually quite pleased and happy with the result. So this is how the final thing has turned out i did do it slightly differently to the original image um i'll do a close-up and i'll also pop the original image on the screen as well <laughs> really pleased with it actually I think especially for the colours that I got and I managed to stick to the rules of the challenge I didn't mix any of the three colours that I had to randomly choose I didn't um, mix any of them together I could only mix them with white and black so I still managed to get quite a good variety of colours from the three mixing them with white and black I allowed myself white and black Posca pens as well because that's basically the same as white and black paint so instead of the stars on the original image I did do like tiny tiny dots instead like newsprint kind of thing but that's just because the stars would have been really difficult for me to do and the dots are only in white and black Posca pen anyway but yeah I really hope you enjoyed this video and liked seeing my process and let me know what you think of the final image obviously as a pop art image I wish it would be brighter <laughs> I wish I, I managed would have managed to get different colors at the start I made do with what I had that was the rules of the challenge and I followed them so yeah hopefully you enjoyed this video it had a lot of very meticulous details that took a long time so if you did enjoy it please give it a thumbs up so that I know <laughs> um, in appreciation of all of my many many dots that I had to do and I just kept seeing dots after that it was yeah anyway give it a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it remember to subscribe if you haven't already and hopefully i'll see you in my next video